I have worked in the field of brain injury for almost 20 years. I watched you play um, for your entire football career, so it's really exciting for me to be here. But I struggled working in the field of brain injury and being an avid football fan, knowing what's happened over the years and how concussions have really come to light. And I guess I have a nine-year-old son, almost nine-year-old, who loves the game too. And I heard you mention your nine-year-old grandson. It's hard for me to say no to him, knowing what I know. So I'm just wondering, what do you say to your grandchildren when they say, Grandpa, I want to play football? Yeah, you know, um, they haven't, of course, when I talk, it's, it's more about the oldest. He, he really hasn't mentioned playing. And um, I'll be honest with you. I have no, um, I just don't, I, I'm not gonna encourage him to play. Now, if he were to say, I wanna play football, I'll support him. Now, it's not my decision, it's his mother and father's decision. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm really thankful that he doesn't ask and doesn't pursue it. Um, you know, I would cringe to watch him be tackled. And whether you're the kid who's the bully who's tackling everyone, or your kid or grandkid is the one who's, you know, that looks feeble and, and you, you know, the last thing you want him to do is be tackled, I, it really doesn't matter. What matters is the danger that they're exposed to. And some some people, you know, I, I've said that, and people have, uh, there's been some negative backlash, like how dare he who played football for so long? Well, who better to, to speak out? I'm not saying do away with football. Um, flag football would be a better alternative for that, that age group. Um, and if everyone does it, the playing field is equal, and you can still, in my opinion, you can still teach tackling and, and the things that would come later while they're still playing, but you don't have to, to actually hit someone to learn to tackle. In fact, it would be better from, you know, there's so much talk about lowering the head for, for a spine um, perspective. And so you could teach all that without actually hitting. And I just think that um, it, it is tough that, you know, it's a, it's a great sport, people love it, but if something were to happen to your child, a concussion, um, playing football, and it led to something really um, drastic, whether it be presently, if you knew that a concussion at eight years old, that kid at 40 was going to suffer some major issues, and you allow that to happen, you would you could not live with yourself. And I think I, I can't guarantee you that that that's the case. But why even take the chance? It, you know, uh, what I did is over and done with. R remains to be seen. Um, but we have a chance to to protect our youth better uh, and just make half football, but do it at, from a flag perspective. Um, but getting everyone on board with that is, um, you know, there's those hard line parents and, and people who just believe that it, their kid was meant to play tackle football. Um, and uh, it, it is frightening. It's, it, and I would have never thought that at 30 years old. Um, in concussions, you would never have thought about coming out of a game with a concussion. You would have been soft. You would have, you would have been a sissy, whatever you but. <laughs> A lot has changed, but we still have a long ways to go. Hey, the next.